Published 1931 EDT, the 24th of September 2017. Updated 1932 EDT, the 24th of September 2017. The Manchester clubs continued their dominant start to the new season with victories home and away this weekend. Harry Kane was once again the star of the show for Tottenham in a London derby, while Alvaro Morata netted his first Chelsea hat-trick at Stoke. Here, Sports Mail gets the fans' verdict following an entertaining weekend of action. Harry Kane scored twice as Tottenham triumphed 32 over West Ham at the London Stadium. West Ham Michael Oliver, read West Ham. West Ham usually play up to the occasion when Tottenham are the opponents and for the first half hour or so they looked more than a match for Spurs. When Antonio, easily the best player on the afternoon, went off injured and was replaced by Carroll, West Ham's approach changed. Tottenham were able to take hold of the game and they really proved their class. The late fight back papers over the cracks at West Ham. The squad is thin and their ISNT really a viable plan B something Slaven Bilic needs to find them fast if he wants a job come Christmas. Starman Javier Hernandez Tottenham Barnaby Slater, the Football Republic sure it was squeak of them time at the end and Vincent Sanchez could easily have given away a last-minute penalty for a push on Andy Carroll, but who cares? Victory over West Ham in their cup final and bragging rights are ours again. All in all fully deserved. As far as we're concerned, Sir Joria may have been naive, but it's that aggression that Spurs teams pre Pochettino have lacked, so he'll take the odd red card for the positives that desire and intensity bring this Spurs side. Starman Harry Kane Burnley and Huddersfield played out a forgettable stalemate at Turf Moor on Saturday. Burnley Tony Scholes, up the Clarets we've extended our unbeaten run in the league to four games and remain in ninth place after a 0 home draw against newly promoted Huddersfield Town. That's the good news, but the not-so-good news is that this was not a performance that will live long in the memory. The game had booked the last place slot on match of the day long before the final whistle. Neither side offered too much in attack with neither goalkeeper asked to do much. It left Rajiv Van La Paris disgraceful dive as the major talking point. Stephen Defoe stood out like a beacon throughout and was singled out by the manager for his good performance. Starman Stephen Defoe Huddersfield Harry Greenwood, better than Klopp Town struggled to get going in the first half against a well-organised Burnley side. They were almost punished by a Woods header, however defensive grit and solidity saw the game level at the break. After half-time Town had the better of the game, providing an attacking threat. De Poitre had our best chance, whilst Van La Parra had a strong impact off the bench. Player of the season thus far, Christopher Schindler, was yet again immense at the back. After a poor first half and a better second, I'm sure Wagner will be happy with another point and another clean sheet. Starman Christopher Schindler Umar Nyate turned into Ronald Koeman saviour, scoring a brace after coming off the bench Everton Joel Parker, Toffee analysis Ronald Koeman a year ago we have enough strikers, different strikers. I prefer these, not Nyate and the team. A year later in the Senegalese striker might they just saved Koeman. Ronald got his team selection wrong, again Gay and Schneiderlin in the same midfield, Rooney and Sigurdsson as wingers and even in a 4,231, our worst. Formation. King gave Bournemouth the lead after an eye-watering first half. Credit to the boss, he made the correct substitute, Davies assisted Nyata's first and Umar would get his brace shortly after. Nyata deserved his second opportunity and HASNT disappointed. Star man Umar Nyata Bournemouth Peter Bell, Cherry chimes it was all going so well. Ronald Koeman was about to start searching for a new job, then Umar Nyata blew away Bournemouth in a few frantic minutes. When Josh King scored, Bournemouth had all the points for the taking. King is much more like the goal scorer of last season again and he is going to start pulling defences apart again with his aggressive runs and sharp finishing. But Jermaine Defoe will rue his finishing, he could have killed the game. Still, even if the points don't show it, Bournemouth are getting better. Coman knows he got lucky star man Josh King Kevin De Bruyne was irresistible as Manchester City thrashed Crystal Palace at home Manchester City Stephen Alvais, view from a blue first half was too slow and predictable, and Palace looked fairly comfortable in defending deep and using Benteke's strength as an outlet, as soon as we quickened the pace in the second half, we were lethal. De Bruyne and Silva were irresistible, Sane was frightening every time he received the ball, and Palace could not live with us. Shakhtar and Chelsea next up will be a test, but we are so dangerous going forward from all angles and look solid enough at the back. Starman Kevin De Bruyne in a Crystal Palace J. Crame, the Eagles' beak hour annual thrashing by City duly arrived and happened just how many expected it to. 
It was a minor triumph holding them back until just before the break but up until then they had been a little frustrated. Back to the drawing board for Roy. Thankfully we will not have to face teams like City every wick, but is it too much to ask for a goal perhaps so, particularly seeing as our only fit striker in Christian Benteke left the pitch injured. We just cannot catch a break right now. Starman Patrick van Arnholt Romelu Lukaku was the match winner once again as Manchester United won at Southampton Southampton Aidan Small, Fresh Saints he hates seeing my club lose, but I can take it when we lose as we did today. Right up until the referee's final whistle blew, our attitude, approach to the game and body language was spot on, a complete contrast to the Watford defeat two weeks ago. The defence held their shape superbly while Mario Lemina the new fan favourite orchestrated and bullied the midfield. An all-important touch in the final third was the only thing missing. You know your team's performed when Jose brings on two extra defenders and also gets sent to the stands, starman Mario Lemina Manchester United's and Peoples, the people's person winning when you're not playing well is the habit of champions and Manchester United showed that character at St Mary's, Romelu Lukaku scored the all-important goal but Phil Jones was magnificent and deserves praise. Momentum is continuing to build in both sides of Manchester. Starman Phil Jones Alvaro Morata bagged a hat-trick and the match ball as Chelsea won 40 away at Stoke Stoke Martin Smith. The oatcake fanzine laugh all you want but Stoke actually played well here. Well, for about 75 minutes we did but we also gifted our opponents three of their four goals and were given a cruel lesson in finishing. Chelsea had four shots on target and scored four goals there is no fairness or justice in football and we saw as much in this game. Having gone into the match with no fewer than four defenders unavailable we then lost another two injury midway through the second half. We also saw referee Mike Dean spinelessly fail to send off Alonso for what was a clear second yellow card. We need to put this one behind us, move on and pray we have any defenders at all for next week's game. Starman Jerdan Xhaka at Chelsea Andy CB, Chelsea daft Antonio Conte sprang a surprise with his team selection as Gary Cahill, Cesc Fabregas and Eden Hazard were all named on the bench but it proved to be an inspired decision. For all their effort and endeavour, our hosts were dismantled by a clinical Chelsea side who took both their chances in the first half capitalising on defensive errors to lead 20 at the break. Cesc Fabregas and Eden Hazard were introduced in the second half to give us a foothold in the final third and to stop Stoke's momentum coming forward in waves. It worked almost instantly, and Chelsea added two more goals to kill the game and take three impressive points. Alvaro Morata proved that he is more than capable of scoring goals with his feet as he bagged his first hat-trick for Chelsea with his second goal a stunning run from just inside the Stoke City half. This was an excellent performance ahead of a big week for Chelsea starman Alvaro Morata Richelison continued his strong start to the season as Watford won away at Swansea 21 Swansea Declan Terry, Reed Swansea Watford conceded six goals last week, so going into a home tie with the Hornets why did Paul Clement set us up to play so negatively and defensively? With five at the back for the Swans, the majority of the game was all Watford and they dominated the midfield battle winning every single second ball. Swansea didnt look up for it and showed little intent as they fell to a demoralising defeat. That's three home losses on the spin now, which quite frankly is worrying. Continue our home form like this and it could see us back in a dreaded relegation battle. If we can't beat Newcastle or Watford on our patch, then where exactly are 40 points going to come from? Starman Tammy Abraham Watford David Anderson, Golden Pages fanzine Despite Marco Silva's notoriously good home record, it turns out HES managed to get his Watford side to play pretty well away from home, too. We started he game excellently and deserved to take the lead, and it was great to have Andre Gray get off the mark. But after Swansea as equaliser it could have gone either way. Thankfully, the class of our summer signings shone through and, in the end, Richelison's persistence and class paid off to earn us the win. It won't be long before he gets noticed by a big club. Starman Richarlison Philippe Coutinho reminded Liverpool fans of his class with a magical free kick at Leicester Leicester Warwick A. LCFC World and another cracking game at the King Power but unfortunately the same result for the Foxes again with a tight loss. With Coutinho back to his best and the Reds going 31 up on the break, it was another uphill battle. Vardy was a constant threat all game and got his reward with another goal, it was a shame he did and he bury his penalty as we might have picked up at least a point. Really tough start to the season.
We need to start winning some games now star man Jamie Varda Liverpool Dave Usher. The Liverpool way Liverpool put their fans through the ringer again but referee. Anthony Taylor was the biggest reason for this one being so close. Leicester's first goal got them back into a game that looked beyond them but it should never have stood for several reasons. The second half penalty they got was highly dubious, too, while a clear foul on Diane Lovren at the other end was ignored. The Reds did well to overcome all this and claim a much-needed three points, with Philippe Coutinho dazzling and Jordan Henderson rebounding from a terrible midweek performance with the winning goal in an election captain's performance. Starman Jordan Henderson, Homer Hem delighted the home fans with the winning goal for Brighton over Newcastle Brighton Simon Cox, Brighton fans a massive 3.1 by hard graft. We had them on toast first half but couldn't apply the marmalade. Second 45 was even Stevens, but we took the only real chance of the game and worked our socks off to protect the lead. Toma Hemd was magnificent in both boxes, and the difference on the day. Super Sunday, I get it Starman Toma Hemd Newcastle Tom Bohr, read Newcastle a bad day at the office for Newcastle United. In what was a very winnable game, the Magpies squandered several great chances to break the deadlock before Brighton eventually scored the only goal of the game to seal three points. There will be question marks over the starting striker position next week after Joseless wasteful performance in front of goal this week and last. John Joe Shelby impressed when he entered the fray, too, giving Rafa Benitez another selection headache. Could we see him partner Mikel Marino against Liverpool onto the next one? Starman Mikel Marino